Application of Graphs As noted before, a distinguishing feature of a graph data structure is its ability to represent complex relationship among data elements. In general, a graph can be used to represent a structure in which many-to-many -many type relationship exists among the data elements. In real life, we come across many such examples. Some familiar examples are computer networks, electrical circuits, transport networks, assembly lines, molecular structures, and databases. In computer networks, workstations and servers can be viewed as vertices and links between the devices as edges. Thus, a graph may be used to configure a network for optimum performance. For example, using appropriate algorithm, we can determine the shortest or most economical routes for dispatching packets of information along different paths in a network. Electronical circuits are another common example of application of graphs. Connectivity and performance of a circuit can be ascertained with the help of graph theoretical methods. Graphs are also useful to schedule various tasks in an assembly line of an industrial plant when certain tasks must be completed before the next task is started. The most familiar examples of graphs applications are found in transport industry. For example, airport, cities and other sites can be represented as vertices and the air routes, railway lines and roads as edges. A graph can be used to answer such questions as Is there a connection between two given locations? If so, what is the minimum cost of transportation? Or, what is the shortest route? In plain words, one may want to know a travel schedule with minimum travel time or minimum fare between any pair of cities. Several graph algorithms exist to solve such problems. Graphs are also useful in studying molecular structures. The graph theoretic methods can be used to differentiate between structures with different configuration of a set of molecules. Finally, in a database application, graphs are frequently used to represent various types of entity relationships, often referred to as ERD diagram. Operation on graphs As with other data structures, we can perform several operations on graphs to access the data elements and update the information contained in the graph. We can also modify the relationship among data elements. Some useful common operations include the following. Inserting a new vertex into the graph. Removing an existing vertex. Inserting a new edge between a given pair of vertices. Removing an existing edge. Determining degree of a vertex. Determining reachability of a vertex. Finding paths of different lengths between a given pair of vertices. Determining the shortest path between a pair of designated vertices. Traversing a graph. We shall examine the implementation of these methods while studying different ways of representing graphs. Click the button to see the visualization of graph operation. Matrix representation of graph. We have seen that a graph can be represented diagrammatically with direction of edges shown explicitly. However, pictorial representation is not useful for analytical studies of a graph. Further, the pictorial representation is not feasible when a graph contains a large number of vertices and edges. There are alternative ways of representing graph. Two common methods are known as matrix representation and list representation. The choice depends on whether the graph is dense or sparse. We first look at the matrix representation. 
In matrix representation, the edges between the vertices are represented as elements of a matrix called adjacency matrix. The rows and columns of the matrix are labeled by graph vertices. If an edge between a pair of vertices exists, then corresponding row and column contains 1 and 0 otherwise. We can algebraically define an adjacency matrix by using matrix notation. If Aij is an element of a matrix A in ith row and jth column, then Aij equal 1 if there exists an edge between ith and jth vertex, Aij equal 0 otherwise. Consider the graph shown in figure. It is a directed graph with vertices labeled A, B, C, D, E, F. This figure shows the matrix corresponding to this graph. Since in some programming languages such as C, C++, integers 0 and 1 refer to logical false and true values, the adjacency matrix is sometimes referred to as Boolean matrix or bit matrix. An adjacency matrix that contains the weight associated with edges of a weight graph is called weight matrix. A major advantage of matrix representation is that we can determine the degree of vertex easily by simply summing the entries in the corresponding rows and columns of the adjacency matrix. For example, consider the vertex D. The sum of values in the row corresponding to the vertex is 2. We conclude that out degree of D is 2. Also, the sum of entries in the column corresponding to D is 3. So, the n degree of D is 3. By looking at the pictorial representation in figure, you can verify that two edges originate from D and three edges terminate at D. Another advantage of the adjacency matrix is that insertion and deletion of edges can be accomplished easily. In order to remove an edge, we simply toggle the value 1 to 0 in the corresponding row and column. The biggest advantage of matrix representation is that we can compute path length by performing basic matrix operations. We shall look at this aspect later. A drawback of matrix representation is that insertion and deletion of new vertices involves complex procedures. To insert a new vertex, we would need to add a new column and a new row. Also, the columns and rows would need to be shifted to place the new vertex in proper location. In order to delete a vertex, we remove the corresponding row and column from the adjacency matrix. However, after removal of matrix elements, we would need to shift the succeeding rows and columns to update the adjacency matrix. This is a time-consuming operation, particularly if column or row to be deleted happens to be towards the end. Matrix representation of graph. We have seen that a graph can be represented diagrammatically with direction of edges. Array based implementation of graph. We have seen that a matrix is analogous to a two dimensional array. We can therefore use the two-dimensional array to store the elements of an adjacency matrix. We also use a one-dimensional array to store information contained in vertices. Therefore, in order to implement graph data structure, we define a class which consists of two arrays and includes associated graph operations. We call this class 
graph matrix. The structure of the class is shown in figure. It consists of following array. Two dimensional array E to store edges. One dimensional character array V to store vertices. The basic operations are implemented using the following methods. Add vertex to insert a new vertex. Add edge to insert a new edge. Del edge to delete an existing edge. Display to print the graph. It is assumed that vertices show single characters. The edges are represented by N into N matrix. The actual codes for the class methods are given in the demonstration. Click button to run the array-based implementation of a graph.